All right, here we are. We have all of our collections. Still looking great. We have our collections, and then you had Final Burn Alpha and Main down there. Systems here. This is all running the Robo Spin. As far as which visual on the attract mode. So um, just get this. Let's get this party started. Win 32. That's the program we're gonna want. Here you go. Source Forge. You can get it here. Go ahead and download, install Win32. Once you install it, just type it in here. You should see it there. Right click, run as administrator. It should pop up something just like this. We can go ahead and close out of that. And the first thing you want to do is make sure your micro SD card is in your computer. Here it's my iDrive. So you want to go ahead and click here and pick the correct drive. And then you want to hit this folder button or type in the directory that you want your image to if you want it to go to your desktop it might be c drive slash desktop whatever directory it is you want to put your image now this is an updated um this is an updated version of my raise attract mode and i want to have it so here we go and then as far as file name i want to go ahead and say raise updated and then uh today's date so i'll just do three nine 18.17.img. I guess I don't need to do .img because I'm doing it as image. So go ahead and do that. And then uh, there we go. I drive. And now here's where you don't hit write. This is where you're going to want to hit read. And uh, you can see I've already, it already created a file here. And uh, it's at 0%. And you see it's going pretty fast 30 megs, 35 megabytes per second. This is the SAN disk. Class 10, 128 gigabyte micro SD, and these read much faster than they write. So when you're writing Ray's image, it, take, it goes to like 10 to 20 megabytes per second. So it's two times faster than writing it. So I imagine that this should be done in a couple of hours. And uh, if you only have like a 32 gig or a 16 gig, it'll go much, much quicker. But uh, this one um, is 128 gig, so it'll take a little longer. Once it's done, it'll just say, you know, read complete, and I'll have an image file that's a blue icon now. And uh, if I want to write it on a different SD, I would just click it and hit the write on a new SD. Um, so it gives me a way to now have a backup of my image recently updated all right there. Very easy to do. A little update on this. So it finally finished. There it is, 124 million kilobytes, so 124 gigabytes almost 125 and as you see it's not an image file so that's why you either had to you ha you were actually supposed to right here oh change it yes i could i just changed it right there in my thing but otherwise you would have done dot img here and then read it that would have worked as well very simple not a big deal you just got to write dot img i thought i did it automatically i guess not so as you can see i back since i backed it up the last time um and then there you have it 119 gigabytes, 127 billion bytes. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.